should do this tomorrow with the rest of the girls. Yeah. So peaceful, so quiet, so... Ah! <laughs> oh, huh? Rose! Oh, Orange, oh. what's wrong? Some, something touched my foot! An eel! A sea monster! Maybe just a water plant, huh? Kinda cute. Kinda. Aren't those the cutest, fattest, most adorable cheeks you've ever seen? Aw, hey little guy, hey sweetie. Hi there. Don't be scared, are you all by yourself? You're too little to be all alone. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, I'm sure he's fine and, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking him home. But someone's got to take care of them. Poor little guy. All alone in the big world. Come here, little guy. Orange, wait. We... Come on, little. What? You can trust me. Yeah. I won't hurt you. Huh? Hey. Orange, listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> hey, that tickles. I just asked that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, someone's gotta take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? Look, you see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you. Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble. Cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. Oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And we'll give you a beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just wait till you see. You're going to love it there. What's his name? Stuart. Isn't that the cutest name you ever heard for a fish? Stuart? Where is he, Orange? Oh, look! He's super cute! Hi, Lemon! Hello, Plum! Hi, Raspberry! Hi, Lemon! Oh, what a doll! Where's your fish? You can name him Fish! Or Mush! Or Swish! His name is Todd. I thought it was Stuart. <laughs> Catchy and cute. And dignified to boot. And look what I taught him to do. Strawberry. I have one with pictures. Oh, I love the ones with pictures. Blueberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. I uh, seen Blueberry. I'm right here. And we 
emergency. Todd's sick. I, I need books on fish care, fish diseases, fish cures, fish medicine. Oh, no. What's wrong with him? List the symptoms, please. Well, he has growths. Ugh. Oh, Todd, I'm so sorry. Where did I go wrong? I've tried to give him everything a fish needs. I know you have. Everything a fish could want. I know you did. Everything a fish... He's not a fish. <gasps> He's a tadpole. A, a tadpole? What's that? A baby. Frog. <gasps> Todd is a fish! He's a frog. Todd's a frog? Well, he will be. Soon. He'll grow arms and legs and lose his tail. This process is called metamorphosis. So, um... So, at least he's not sick. But it might be best to take him back to the stream, huh? What? I, I can't do that. I, I promised to take care of him. But that's when you thought he was a fish. It's just that, well, isn't a frog more than you bargained for? I am not going to turn my back on him just because he switched species. He, Tad, can't help it if he's a frog. Okay, ready? And lift! <laughs> there, that's the front panel. Front panel of what, Raspberry? Oh, I didn't show you. You didn't see? Well, here, come here, come over here. <laughs> this is great. I know, I know, you don't have the words. Um, fabulous, maybe? Inspired, tremendous, cutting edge. <laughs> See, um, Orange appointed me fashion designer. I'm designing all the outfits for her and Tad. See, next week, she'll ride him in a dressage and jumping show with both of them sporting Raspberry's Frog Forward Fashions. <laughs> Orange says it'll be great publicity. You know, I'll probably, most likely, well, hopefully, well, maybe, you know, have, a, have my own pet apparel line in stores by next fall. Uh-huh. Please, still. I can't tie the bowl, you huh? behave. Oh, no, we do not drink the shampoo. Oh, now, please. <gasps> Quick, close the door. We get loose. Orange thinks I'll do great business if I branch out into pet grooming. Huh? And now, some cologne. He's kind of stinky. All right, wait a minute. Oh no! Catch him! Dad? I'm sorry, Orange. He looked perfectly adorable. Then something scared him. Maybe he doesn't like Barry Licious lavender. Maybe the bow's too girly for him. Maybe he doesn't like the color. Or maybe frogs don't wear bows. Huh? Orange, it's just that I don't think frogs are supposed to be washed or dressed up. Maybe it would be best to let him go in the wild. Out there? All alone? Oh, no, 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 no. He, he's much better off with me. Um, come on, Dad. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Lemon. Uh, I'll bring him back tomorrow, okay? I'll have a talk with him. He'll be better behaved. Uh, I promise. Can't wait. What is that? I promise, it's not my stomach. We believe you. I have a feeling I know just what it might be. Oh no, Tad doing his night croaking. How can we do our night sleeping? Maybe the croaking is just a stage and he'll grow out of it. That'll probably be the only thing he doesn't grow out of. Where's Orange? She turned in early. She was tired from chasing Tad around. 
Come on, girls. Let's think of a way to get him to go to sleep. Uh, hot milk. No, not that. Uh, a blanket. No, never mind. Hmm. Oh, a, a lullaby? Uh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, a lullaby? Sing a lullaby to a frog. I like it. Good idea. Yeah. Close your eyes, little frog. Time to please stop your croaking. Pleasant dreams, little frog. Won't you finally go to sleep? Huh? Who? What? Is he? Five minutes? It's been more like five hours. I wonder where she could be. Ugh, I need to get some light bulbs for my reading lamps. Still closed, huh? She was closed yesterday, too. I want to paint this beautiful tulip in the meadow, but I'm out of brushes. Well, I guess I'll just have to make a sculpture of the tulip instead. I wish you could sculpt me a light bulb. <laughs> Make sure this end stays shallow enough for Dad to get up. I wouldn't want him to hurt himself having to hop too much. Orange! What are you doing? Building a swimming pool for Dad. Isn't it great? Orange, um, promise to let me use it to teach water ballet classes if I help dig. <gasps> <laughs> I gotta admit, Orange, you're sure giving him the best. Everything he needs. <coughs> and then, when Mrs. Drewberry came home and discovered the kittens had unraveled her yarn... Oh, excuse me. Strawberry's Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, my. Yes, right away, Princess Berrykin. <coughs> I just turned around and see what I found? Our berry juice ruined! And look! I'm very sorry, Princess. I'll talk to Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. And a graceful lip with the left arm. Huh? Please, everyone. This is water belly, not wood chopping. <laughs> <laughs> and now, everyone, with grace and style, I'd like you to <gasps> look out! <laughs> Goodness, is everyone all right? All right over here. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, Strawberry! Orange promised to let me use this pool, but every class gets interrupted by Tad. I'll talk to her. I promise. Oh, Strawberry! It's the very worst! I mean, I can't tell you. It's... it's... What is it, Raspberry? What's happened? I'm upset! I can see that you are. What upset you? It's all my work! My sewing and stitching and your frog forward fashions. Let me guess. Tad didn't like them. No! He loved them so much, he ate them! My goodness! And all Orange said was, he's just a frog. He didn't know what he was doing. That doesn't sound like the Orange we know. No, it sounds like the Orange who's got a pet that's become more important to her than, than manners. I'll talk to her. Strawberry! Orange, what's the matter? <laughs> it's Tad! He's, he's... Gone! 
Now don't worry. Everyone's out looking. I'm sure the Berrykins will find him any minute now. He couldn't have gone very far. I did everything I could for him. I kept him cool when he was hot, warm when he was cold, bathed him, sheltered him, rented. No frog has ever been so loved, and, and, and now he ran away. Huh? <laughs> I found your pet. Look, a bear! There he is! Yeah. Todd! What are you doing up there? You come down here this instant. <laughs> now he's asleep. <laughs> I'll wake him up. Um. That's such a good idea. Hello! Wake up, Froggy! Oh, gee. Everyone knows you to be so kind and considerate, but I think maybe you've been trying to be so kind and considerate to Tad that you've forgotten about everyone else. But you guys are my friends, my very best friends. I could never forget you. What I mean is, Tad has caused a bit of trouble and... But he doesn't know any better. Exactly. I think being responsible for a pet means taking responsibility for any trouble he causes. Because the pet really doesn't know any better. I know. I need to do a better job of being responsible for Tad. I'm doing everything I can think of. I, I don't know what else to do. Well, maybe the best way to care for Tad is to not care for Tad. What do you mean? Orange. I just don't know if Tad belongs here. Oh, Strawberry, please give him, I mean me, another chance. I promise he'll never be any trouble to anyone in Berry Beauty City again. But how? You'll see. I'll, I'll train him. You said even though we're bitty, we're capable of big things. And I know I can do this. I won't turn my back on my responsibility to Tad. Well... I've never seen it so neat and tidy in here before. I wanted to do something nice to make it up to you for Tad eating the fashions. Thank you, Orange. Really? It's all mine? I promise Tad will never bother your classes again. Thank you, Orange. I'm hoping the Berrykins will accept some frog rides to make up for all the trouble we caused. Oh, well... <laughs> Not having much fun, huh, big guy? Yeah. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Orange. I came to tell you everyone is so pleased about how you apologized for Tad's troubles. <laughs> Everything is back to normal in Berry Bitty City. Oh, that's good. I know it's been difficult, but I know if it meant doing the right thing for Tad, you could do something even more difficult. Of course! 
course. I'd do anything for Tad. What is it that's more difficult than all the things I've done so far? I mean, those were big things. Well, what's bigger than that? Letting him go. Oh, Strawberry. Sometimes the very biggest things we have to do are the things we can't even see. There it is. Do you think he's going to think I don't love him? Oh, I'm worried he'll never get over it. Oh, Tad, I know this is difficult. Try to be strong. <laughs> say goodbye. But did you see how happy he was? Yeah, you're right. He wasn't just happy. He was the happiest I've ever seen him. Oh, and that makes me happy too. How about a picnic? I think that is a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> This is history. The world's first rainbow smoothie. Here goes. <sighs> Congratulations, Strawberry. Wait. Something's missing. <gasps> I forgot my very favorite flavor, strawberry. Okay, quick, quick. Gotta make a strawberry smoothie fast. What? This is supposed to be strawberry. Lemon? This isn't the lemon spout. Isn't that the orange spout? Hmm. This is orange flavored, but it's the wrong color. What's going on? What flavor is that? Kiwi? Honeydew? Spinach? Uh-oh. I'm running out of time. Look! Oh, no! Oh, well. Oh. I wonder what's wrong with these juice spouts. Maybe something's up at the Berry Works. Princess Berrykin, what's causing all this? Oh! <sighs> Him. Sparkles are the best. Hi! <laughs> Hi. But I thought your berry sparkles only worked on berries. His sparkles work on everything. We've never seen anything like it. Tomorrow, what he's doing today. What could happen? 
Oh my, I don't want to say. Uh-oh. Just like at the cafe. Oh, no one will know which flavor of berry juice is which. What if I was to baby berry can sit for a day? <laughs> hmm. That would be a big help. It would save the harvest. But I couldn't ask. Such a large task. I'd be happy to, Princess Berrykin. Yeah! Good idea! He's so cute! That'd be fun! We'll all babysit him. <laughs> that is, if we can catch him. I would be ever so grateful. It's my pleasure. Looks like our work's cut out for us, girls. What's the plan? Chase him till he's so sleepy he takes a nap? Yell, ice cream, and when he comes up to get it, Grab him? Hmm. Separate and encircle. Yeah! Sure, I heard him right around here. Me too. Did he just disappear? Princess, if it's okay? Ask? Uh-huh. That's when you want to do something, and you ask how somebody feels about it. <laughs> huh? I feel it would be fine. Baby Barrican might learn a thing or two if he was to spend the day with you. Day with Strawberry! Day with Strawberry! <laughs> All right, then. What do you say to Strawberry? You're very, very welcome. world. It should be no problem babysitting. He's such a darling. Baby Berrykin, did you change the color of this water? Baby Berrykin? Bottle. Wait, it 
is baby oil. But the baby oil is supposed to be in a blue bottle. What's going on? <laughs> Sorry, Lemon. He must have changed the color of the conditioner bottle. Now how am I supposed to tell what's what? <sighs> Let me rinse your hair again, Plum. Sorry. Baby Berrykin. Now Lemon has to redo Plum's hair. Why? I don't think he understands. Uh oh! <laughs> Better catch him! <laughs> Mr. Longface, you've just about won! <laughs> well, this would be the first time. <laughs> I think I've finally gotten the hang of my own bitty mini golf course. I must say, this is marvelous fun. <laughs> huh? What's happened to my ball? Disappeared, vanished before my very eyes. Ooh. Oh, here's mine. But somehow it's turned green. <laughs> oh, oh, but but this is the wrong color. You can't see it. Isn't this strange? <laughs> you there. Did you have something to do with this? Oh, now I've lost it again. Oh, oh. oh you poor dear. Looks like our game is ruined. Oh, but I was about to win. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Raspberry? Well, I like it. Great color on you. I like it too. But the other one is very nice as well. <laughs> you want to try it on again? Um, yes, please. Stop! Oh, come back here. Wait for a... Strawberry! What do you think? <laughs> I like this one, too, but... Oh, I just... I just wish I had a bunch more colors to show you. a future in fashion design. Oh, how do you get somebody this young to realize that what they do has an effect on everybody else? Oh, there he is. It was him. Oh, I was this close to a winning round at my miniature golf course. That's it. Your miniature golf course. Can we bring Baby Berrykin to come play? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, but he'll change the balls the wrong colors. Exactly. Let's go. Oh, but... Trust me, Mr. Longface. I think this will work. You'll be doing a great service to Berry Bitty City.
now, Miss Shortcake, uh, those are the last ungreen golf balls that I have. I know. Thank you for letting us use them. Don't worry. We'll be very careful. Won't we, Baby Berrykin? So, what do you say? Would you like to give it a try? Oh, oh, yes, please. Okay, Baby Berrykin. Try and make your ball go up the ramp through the windmill. Like this. <gasps> Yay, Strawberry! <laughs> Thank you. Now it's your turn. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll have another chance. But first, it's Blueberry's turn. <laughs> oh dear! Oh my! Whatever will I do? Listen up, Blueberry! I can't play anymore. Why? Because it isn't my ball. My ball is blue. Strawberry, is this yours? Oh, no! It couldn't be mine. Mine already went through. <laughs> My turn! My turn! I'm sorry, Baby Berrykin. But we can't play if we don't know which ball belongs to which player. Oh, sorry, Miss Shortcake. Uh, perhaps another time. <sighs> Come on, Baby Berrykin. We'll find something else to do. Play! I want to play Mega! Please, Strawberry! Well, the only way we can play is if we know whose ball is whose. Oh, if only there was a way to make the balls go back to the color they used to be. sparkles out of the golf balls. Could you do the same with the other things you changed? So everything looks like it was before? Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, and you see, because they're the same color, I can't tell the nice smooth flannel from the itchy burlap until I'm wearing it. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, I don't know. Hey, do you know? Yeah! doesn't think she's pretty. Oh! No? No. You see, everyone likes different things, and Lemon likes how she looked before you changed her. Oh! Okay! <gasps> <Wow. laughs> 
ready. Thank you, baby bearkin. <laughs> You're welcome, lemon. You're the first to try my rainbow smoothie. Now that the right colors match the flavors again, I could finish it. Mmm, pretty and tasty. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's very pretty. Thank you, Swabelly. Oh, the color I want. Well, it's not here. <gasps> I know. Say, can you make this crayon a color that's a little bit more like this one? Uh-uh. Why not? Using belly sparkles to change colors is bad. Oh, baby Barrykin. Your sparkles aren't bad. They're beautiful. It's wonderful. It is? Yes, it is. All you need to do is think before you do it. Think, how will it make other people feel? Strawberry? Yes. What if I don't know? Well, then you ask them. Is it okay? <laughs> Very okay. Oh, pretty. Thank you, Baby Berrykin. You're welcome, Strawberry. Ooh! Anything yet, Blueberry? Nothing. Berry web's still down. All over town. Grumbling gooseberries! We're missing Berry in the know! Oh, forget it. Show's almost over anyway. <gasps> oh, look! It's back up! So remember, fashionistas, just two weeks until the big event. What big event? It's Barry in the Know Fashion Talk Show's first fashion contest. Ah, a fashion contest? <laughs> Technology makes this live streaming Barry Net show possible. So our theme is... Technology in fashion. Technology? That's right, technology. So enter today. Until then, this is Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you very in the know? <laughs> What's the matter? You two are the fashion experts of Berry Bitty City. You definitely have to enter. We know fashion, but technology is not our area of expertise. Now wait, so what if you're techno newbies? I just read a book that says when you're a beginner, anything's possible because you don't know what's impossible. It says right here, above all, you must keep your windows of creativity open. Whoa. <gasps> I think the windows are opening. Where? No, my windows of creativity. I have an idea. Oh, come on, Raspberry. Thanks, Blueberry. Technology and crashing? No, technology and fashion. We have this great idea for a new kind of fashion show. Could you? Oh, I could. Mm. And we want you to be the star. Oh, sorry, girls. I'm a little distracted tonight. Things have been crazy trying to run the cafe and the marketplace. Today was the worst. The marketplace had a run on rutabagas like you wouldn't believe. Maybe you could tell me your idea tomorrow? But this is an unbelievable first for fashion. Here, let me help you. This idea is so, so cutting edge. Let me do that. Brilliant! It's brilliant! Uh. <laughs> You better tell me now. So you want me to be your model in this technology and fashion contest with a video camera in my hair? Exactly! Here, look! You'll be wearing a hair cam that Lemon will make. And a special skirt that Raspberry will make. A skirt 
shirt that's also a video screen? Whatever the hair cam films, the video screen shows! And with the hair cam films will be you, demonstrating your favorite recipe using the high-tech gadgets in your kitchen! Wow! That's the wildest tech fashion idea I've ever heard of! You should definitely go with it. <laughs> but I just don't see how I'm going to have time to be your model. I wouldn't even have time to come to the fittings. Uh, not when I'm running two businesses at the same time. Okay, Raspberry, what do you think we should do this? Um, Strawberry, what if you only had to worry about one business? Huh? What if we run the cafe for you until the contest? Then you'd have time to be our model. Please, Strawberry. In the name of art and progress. You think you could run the cafe? Well, we do our beginners best. <sighs> okay, we'll give it a try. Okay. Order of waffles, two smoothies. Oh, who had the island surprise? Uh, what's an island surprise? I guess it's a surprise. <laughs> so I can take over for you at lunch. Gotta go! I have to finish three pedicures, three Berry Bitty blowouts, and three fresh and fragrant facials.
What are you doing here? Didn't you get my text? No. Didn't you get my text? Flying Waffles! The cafe! Wait! Do you smell that? Yeah! Smells really good! It's no one's fault, Sour. Things just happen. If you had checked the air, maybe things wouldn't have just happened. I would have if you hadn't insisted on doing it yourself, silly. I didn't. But you said you're the only one who knows how. Well, I am. We got flat tires because you wanted to drive through this turnip patch. Strawberry patch! Who's that? Oh, customers! Okay, Sour, customers. Sunshine, sweetness, smiles. I'm smiling on the inside. Good morning. Welcome to Sweet and Sour's food truck. I'm Sweet, she's Sour. We're Sweet and Sour grapes. We're twins. But we're nothing alike. May I offer you my whipped and whirled peach parfait? Well, thank you. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm, mm, that's delicious! If you want delicious, stuff your face with my curried cucumber canapé. Oh! Mmm! Enjoy a persimmon hazelnut honey waffle. Chew on this sun-dried tomato and chili crepe. Bite-sized berry brittle. Dice dates a la sour. No! Stop! It's so, so good. good! Which one? It was the dates, wasn't it? I can't make up my mind. But one thing is certain, you girls sure can cook. Lemon, what if we get them down while Papa and Mama's over here? So, I know we just met and we barely know you, but how would you like a job? Great, the Barricans are on it. They're gonna take care of the food truck. Do you think this is gonna work? Piece of cake. I'll get them to set up in the cafe while you try your new hair cam on Strawberry. Then you can have her for your skirt fitting this afternoon. Deal! Okay, now don't move. Mm -hmm. And perfect! We are about to make fashion history. peruse our menu of delicious, delectable, and simply delightful dishes. I'll be back in a jiffy. What'll it be? Uh, someone already... Uh, wait, who... What's with your hair? What? Never mind. Taste can't be learned, but lucky for you, you get to taste one of my... I mean... our specials. Today we have Sweets Banana Butter Squash Bleh. I mean, bisque. Sours Salsify Sunflower Salad. Mm, it's a winner. And I don't know why I even mentioned this special. The other chef made it. But <sighs> sweet strawberry fondue. Or I should say fondue. <laughs> oh, and I highly recommend my spicy ricey jalapeno omelet with peanut butter chutney. Maybe if I go bake a cake and come back, you'll have made up your mind by then. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you the specials. I would recommend the strawberry fondue. That's a real crowd pleaser. Hi, Lemon! Raspberry! I was supposed to meet Strawberry for a fitting. Aren't you finished yet with her hair? Oh, I'm finished, all right. Finished with my hair cam, finished with technology, Finish with this whole contest. What are you talking about? Where's Strawberry? At the marketplace. She said she had to go back to work. Nuh-uh. She's not. I mean, I'm at the marketplace, and she's not. Oh, she must have went her other place of business. Hey, was she excited when you told her about the twins? Lemon? I thought you were going to tell her about the twins. Oh. <gasps> ah! A pyramid. Oh, I've never 
serve pyramids in my cafe? Oh dear. Who are these people? Is there something wrong with your papaya pyramid? <sighs> if someone would just tell me what is... I totally understand. You needn't say another word. I'll get you a nice celery sweet swirl, one of my personal specialties. Strawberry! We can explain! Some strangers who don't seem to like each other very much have taken over my cafe. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they came from. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out. No, 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 no. It's our fault. Uh, we sort of, kind of, thought we would, well, we didn't just think. We actually went ahead and hired them. Hired them? Them whom? Whom? Them? Sweet and sour. They're really good chefs. Uh, and they're twins. <laughs> it's too sweet. Sweet. Just give it a taste. It's way too salty. We're making soup, not syrup. <gasps> they don't look so much like twins. I don't think they want to. Uh, let's talk. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know if now's the best time to try new chefs. Especially with the dinner honoring Princess Barrikin tonight. <gasps> the dinner! We'll make sure everything goes smooth as icing. Smooth them! Smoother! Even! I don't know about this. We'll make it work, Strawberry. Are you sure? Promise! Well, okay. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Thank you. <sighs> I have to go check the marketplace. Then I'll be expecting you back at the salon, Lemon, so you can do something about this. About what? Ha <laughs> ha Oh, that! Sure, of course, no problem. <laughs> oh, what were we thinking? Well, who knew they were so argumentative? No, I mean the contest. I mean everything. Oh, I can't make a hair cam. I can't make a video skirt. <sighs> Whatever gave us the idea we could do this in the first place? Blueberry! Breathe deeply. Let the aromas of nature stimulate your creative energies. Ah, uh, what is that stuff? Fizzleberry and Nostrilla Tickle Bun. They stimulate the sinuses and the senses. Nice, isn't it? Mm -mm, not really. So, let's try a word association exercise to break down the walls of rigid thinking and let those problem-solving creative ideas flow. I'll say a word, and you say the first word that pops into your mind. We'll start with lemon. Here we go. Hairdo. Explosion! Fashion. Failure! Style. Stale. Um, I don't think this is working. Oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. It's not the exercise. It's me. I'm just in a bad mood. Uh, maybe you better continue without me. Oh, Lemon, don't give up. Everyone gets moody from time to time. <gasps> moody! That's it! I'll do mood nails instead of a hair cam. I'll design nails that change color depending on your mood. Yay! Great idea, Lemon. But then, what'll we show on your video screen skirt? I don't know. Could we pre-record something cool and screen that on the skirt? Then it wouldn't have to be live. You know, we wouldn't need a hair cam. Bouncing berries, that's it! Any friend fragrance? Um, I mean, scents that bring friendship, harmony, a little peace? I recommend Lemon Verbena and Skittermint. Thanks! Just in case. <laughs> to share a few of my most pleasant memories of our beloved Princess Barrikin, a princess who reigns with grace and wisdom. We all remember Sour. when... Sour! Something's burning! <gasps> my cakes! <laughs> Ugh. Oh, great. I'm sorry, Sour. 
Can I help you make some new ones? Oh, so you can take credit for them, huh? What? No. Or maybe slip some vinegar into the mix so they'll think your cakes are better than mine. Oh, you're talking nonsense. I'm talking deceit, sweet. Underhanded kitchen tricks for my own sister. <gasps> You almost hit me! It was an accident. An accident? I don't believe you. Huh. Well, that was. But this isn't! Ah! <gasps> My apron! My apron that you stole! Oh, really? Then if you are wearing mine, then you won't mind if I put some of this parsley pop on my apron! You call this a parsley puff? You, you... Sous chef! Sous chef? Oh, did not! And quick, play something! <laughs> girls, girls! Breathe, breathe! Peace, yeah. harmony, friendship! Together? Of course not. Mine is the glinty minty sparkle. And I made the creamy carnation rose. Mmm. I've never tasted anything so very delicious. Oh, must be oh, mine. Oh, here, try mine. Mmm. 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 Ah! Mmm! That's it. Uh, they're both great on their own, but mixed together? Oh, wow! <laughs> Divine! Really? You know, if you two created recipes together, your cooking would reach a whole new fantastic level. Us? Cook something together? Well, I guess we could try. Great, because we have some cakes to ice. Come on, I'll help you. Let's alternate each layer with both your cakes and mix your icings. And we'll make one giant cake for Princess Berrykin. Mmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have another slice. <laughs> this is the best. If you'll share some of your cooking secrets with me, you can stay. Oh, you can have my old bedroom above the cafe. Really? But you have to try and get along. We may be expert chefs, but I'll admit, we aren't expert sisters. <laughs> I'm only asking you to do your best. <sighs> I think we can agree to that. What do you think, Raspberry? Should we give our tech fashions another try? Tech tomorrow! Tonight we eat! Definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! Oh. oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You. Aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds, so I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. 
wait! Don't you want to see the new issue of Very Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll uh, take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin Bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of mm, sad. No, I mean, look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berrykin Bloom a vacation. I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. oh, still not high enough. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. <laughs> Shh! Don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface! Berry can bloom? Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes! Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses. Bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <gasps> My goodness! How catchy are these, um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things. Things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy! Mm, wonderful! Oh, thank you! Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you! Well, see you after lunch, then. See you, Bosley! <laughs> Hello? Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But, Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay, but... But what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. 
I'm sorry. Um... Okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we going to do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, I guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? <laughs> Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Oh! Ah! Uh, Merba Ernold Shoot Slipper? Oh, what? Uh, the record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. <laughs> oh dear. What? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> uh, 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 oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, uh, worried about? Uh, well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did. Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can do spirit. Stacking can do spirit, that is. Ha ha ha. That's good, because 
The person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Wait, Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> The highest fruit tower in Very Vitty World! Yeah! And after you win, we can eat it! You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea, too! Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo! Oh boy! That's terrific! Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it! What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry! I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and this orange has been taking her merchandise and snacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No, that's great. Orange. Oh, hi, Bosley Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <laughs> Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> Barang, are you in there? Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. 
I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Club. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. Take cover! No! Oh, oh, no! Oh, careful. oh, too late. You didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnut Bee. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Kinbloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface. It all worked out. Now that my tower of fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrican Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! to the garden. Here you go, Mr. Longface. Pomegranate tea and apple slices. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching the cafe for me. My pleasure. And how is your garden growing? Oh, I'm hoping my flowers will be at their best in time for the flower festival. 
Come on, Pupkin. <laughs> ah, yes. The Flower Festival. The event of the year. Can bloom. Well, your roses look very lovely this year, <laughs> as usual. You just might win again, as usual. Thank you, lemon meringue, strawberry shortcake. Here, strawberry, your flowers might want some water before the day gets any hotter. Why, thank you. Those are beautiful, lemon. I think that this year your flowers are going to be the ones to beat. Oh, no. You can't mean my violets stand a chance against your award-winning roses. Oh, I'm telling no lies. You could win the first prize. You're so kind to say so. <sighs> first prize. <laughs> and now. To the individual who has toiled from sunrise to sunset, growing the most perfect flowers, I award first prize to... Lemon Meringue! Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Lemon! Huh? Oh, what? It's getting late. Are you coming in? We were worried about you. You've been out here for hours. I'll be right there, soon as I tuck them in for the night. Good night. See you in the morning. <gasps> My violets! Awful! Tragic! Weird! We're so sorry, Lemon. My poor violets. What could have happened? It's certainly a mystery. We'll find out how it happened. But who would do such a thing? Who? You think someone took your violets? A flower thief. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Morag. You're here early today. So are you. Good morning, Mr. Blue. How are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Hmm. Lemon? Oh, my. Oh, me. Is that sadness I see? I... Uh... Lemon's had a misfortune, Mr. Bloom. One of her violets went missing. Oh, no. But... but how? We don't know. Oh, that's so sad for you. Now I feel bad, too. I'm sure you do. Come on, Lemon. I'll make you a pancake breakfast and wake me up fruit juice surprise at the cafe. Lemon, you don't really think that nice Mr. Bloom would do a thing like that, do you? Of course not, but, uh, well, didn't you see? See what? His garden is right next to mine. That's true. Well? It's also true that we've known Barrican Bloom a long time. Lemon, you've got to be careful of accusing people. You could really hurt someone's feelings. Uh, I'd never want that to happen. <sighs> You're right, Strawberry. Barrican Bloom would never do a thing like that. What is it, Miss Meringue? More of my violets are missing! Stolen! Oh, goodness me, I didn't see. I was here the whole time, but I... I witnessed no crime. Well, we're actually not really sure there's been a crime. If Barrican Bloom didn't see anything, there must be another explanation. <laughs> I can kind of see Lemon's point, though, Strawberry. No one else was around all day except Barry Kim Bloom. And he told me I'm his biggest competition. Maybe he's only complimenting you. He is nice that way. Why do you think he would steal your violets anyway? 
Because his rose is when the flower show every year, and he wants to make sure he wins this year, too. <laughs> oh, you. You come back here, you little troublemaker. <laughs> 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 oh, Lemon, I'm so sorry about your violets. I know how much you care about them, and how awful it feels to lose something so special. Thanks, Strawberry. But it would feel pretty bad if someone accused you of stealing when you didn't. I know, but why is he there all the time when no one else is? Maybe... He's there all the time working on his roses, because he cares about them so much. Just like you care about your violets. Huh, <sighs> that's true. Just don't make up your mind about what happened until we can figure it out for sure, okay? Okay, Strawberry. I'll try. And in the meantime, hope that whatever happened to your flowers doesn't happen again. Mine are gone! Mine are gone too! <gasps> How could it? Who did this? Just like lemons! Everyone has flowers missing! Not everyone! Barricade and Bloom, did you lose any? Thank goodness all my roses are here! I'm so sorry for your flowers, my dear. Who else could it be? It's gotta be him. Oh, it's like Lemon said. This is serious, Strawberry. Very serious. Whoa. <laughs> My garden is like yours. It's just as I feared. My very best roses. They... <laughs> they disappeared. <laughs> oh. Oh, Barrack and Bloom. I'm so, so, so sorry. You don't know how sorry. What will we do? Flower Festival is two days away. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Princess. Okay, girls, what did everyone find? Well, with all the flowers missing, whoever carried them off... If someone carried them off. Okay, if someone carried them off, they are either really big or there is a lot of them. But we didn't find any tracks. Yeah, no tracks except ours. Now, that's spooky. Uh, maybe the thief flew in. Could be. At this point, anything's possible. Where were you on the night when this terrible tragedy occurred? Asleep? <laughs> Me too. Oh, asleep, huh? That seems mighty suspicious. Uh, Lemon? They always sleep at night. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh ha! Yeah. Violet petal salad, huh? Why, hello there, Miss Meringue. Uh, yes, my favorite. My precious violets. Lunch! Mr. Longface, how could you? Oh, but they're not your violets. <laughs> I weeded and watered and worked for weeks growing my... They're not? Oh, no. I grew them myself. I'm afraid they're not fine enough to enter into the festival, uh, but good enough to eat. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Longface. Strawberry, it's just... I can't get over this bad feeling I have from hurting Mr. Longface's feelings. And after you warned me, too. I know. Sometimes it's hard not to jump to conclusions. I won't do it again. I want to get all the facts. That's what we're going to get. Yep. 
Ready for Catch a Thief Camp Out. This is gonna be so scary. I can't wait. mention too nice. So let's, you know, check the pictures. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> There's a great one. <laughs> Ew, look at me. You, <laughs> look at me. Hey, Lemon, this shot of your violets came out great. Nice one, Strawberry. Thanks. Hey, everybody, come here. Look at this. What? What is that? I don't know. But whatever it was, from the angle of the photo, it was right over... there! Come on, Lemon. You want to check it out, don't you? Uh, uh-huh. It's sure. gonna do You're coming home with me where you'll be safe. Festival instead. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like something was under the ground. Things were going up and going down and sideways and forwards and shaking. It was like the end of the world. The end of the world? Not the end of the world. Close to the end of the world? No. The day before the end of the world, when it's getting into the part where all life as we know it ceases to lum. Huh? and the ground shaking have something to do with each other. Figure this out? 
with you? Yeah. What could happen when you have your friends with you? Uh, how about... a lot? <laughs> Lemon, it's about time we shine some light on this mystery. Okay, Strawberry, if you say so. Our sure first prize with somebody. <laughs> Just my luck, it's a gopher. Wait, it's cute and all, but what will we tell Princess Barrican? With this critter around, we won't have any more flower festivals. Or flowers, for that matter. I think I have an idea. You don't have any flowers to enter in the festival. <sighs> so do I. Can I help you with that, Mr. Blue? Hello, Lemon. Uh, thank you. Mr. Bloom, I wanted to say I'm sorry about... Well, you see... I thought maybe you took my violets because you wanted to win. Oh, Lemon. In my heart? Oh, I knew you'd never do something like that, but somehow I let myself think it before I found out the truth. Will you forgive me? Of course, Lemon. You know, I do want to win. But what fun would it be if I was the only one in the contest? I heard how you gave up the flowers you loved best. By doing that, you saved mine and all of the rest. Thanks. And good luck. I hope you win. Thank you, Lemon. And second prize goes to... Barrican Bloom for his lovely roses. Second prize? He didn't win first prize? I can't believe it. I think his roses are the nicest. And now, the first prize for the most beautiful flowers in Berry Bitty City. The first prize goes to... Lemon Congratulations, Lemon! Congratulations, Lemon. Your violets really were first prize. But I didn't even enter a flower. Strawberry entered it for you. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry! You're very welcome, Lemon. But it was Berrykin Bloom's idea. Oh, yeah! Each other down as long as we're together. 
together Things will always turn around Oh, pardon me. I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Buck. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. <gasps> May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm gonna have to tell them they can't. Why not? My um, guest room, it's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna tell them. Oh my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they'd put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing. Somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We can make them gift bags. Oh, yeah. Like little travel or, uh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and pretty hand soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> Their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out. Your guests will love it so much. Next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh me, oh my, you even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh yes, but <laughs> oh, you never know what will happen. Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Very Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, I'm Nice to meet you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit J.D. Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, J.D. Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Uh, not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite 
color is not. Yeah, uh -huh. it's so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon. <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh my. <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk. Or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug! Uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> Goodness! Well, at least they seem comfortable. I think. I guess this is just their way. Oh, Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? The great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here. Look at this. <laughs> Girl, <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume. <coughs> Yum! Mmm. Thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Oh, 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 uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? <laughs> they should do a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. So, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, boy, you must be having a great time. Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? Uh-huh. Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> <laughs> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Ah, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <laughs> If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Like, where people eat stuff. And that's what we're doing. each other down. Oh! <laughs> so super fun! Karaoke! Hey, give me a turn. I sing 
better in you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> Ugh. How do you turn this thing on? before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with you? My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh... I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now, while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard. Pupcake, we'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I better check on Mr. Longface and, and those twins. <laughs> Mr. Longface! Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> The cafe is closed. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll come back later and help you clean up. We got a little carried away. Uh. Oh, a little help here. Strawberries Cafe. Hope you're having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. 
I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, <laughs> I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. <gasps> oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> yeah. Very fitty city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Mellonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! Neither do we. Okay. <laughs> we are so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey! I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by... by... Why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I mean, um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <laughs> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh. And be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> if you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Never let each other 